Hello, if you don't know who I am, my name is Candy, and I am on a journey to lose the rest of my weight after having my baby. So I am going to show y'all what I eat today and show y'all the calories for it and show y'all that how much you can actually eat in a day and be really, really full if you just eat the right things without busting your calorie goal. So I am at a 2000 maintaining calorie count because I'm breastfeeding. So if you want to continue breastfeeding without losing your supply, I would recommend you do this, like maintenance calories, because actually breastfeeding burns like 300 to 500 calories a day. If you are not breastfeeding, then just Cut out one of my Reese cups at the end of the day and you'll be just fine. So I have cut up some tomatoes and peppers and I'm going to make omelets for us this morning. These omelets are going to include bacon and they're going to include cheese because you don't have to skimp out on taste just because you're counting calories. You can still have the things that you consider not so good for you as long as you control how much you're having of them. So I'm gonna cook up breakfast and I'll show you what it looks like. So I couldn't walk all through what I ate for breakfast, but I took a picture of it here. So I had some steel cut oats with some PB Fit powder in there and then a teaspoon of cocoa powder and a little bit of honey added in just for some sweetness. And that was for breastfeeding purposes because oats are really good for building your milk supply. And I also had my omelet with peppers, onions, a little bit of cheese, two eggs in my omelet, and I put some tomatoes and cilantro on the top of it, and it was really yummy. My mother-in-law happened to come while we were eating breakfast, so I didn't want to pull out the camera and go through everything in front of her. Still getting used to like filming in front of my family and stuff, so decided just to skip that and show y'all the picture and tell y'all what I ate. So for that meal right there, I think I was a little over 500 calories if I wouldn't have had the oats with it it would have been a lot less breakfast was 555 calories and that was for a big bowl of the still cut oats and my big omelet packed with all kinds of goodies so I think that was pretty good and now I'm feeling a little bit peckish because that was at like nine and if you're wondering why I'm like half naked I went running this morning well I wouldn't call it running I went jogging this morning for the first time since I've had my baby so yeah that happened it actually happened and my mile was not very good it was a 1436 I think it was but you know what I got out there and I did the thing I moved my body and I actually survived. I didn't, I wasn't dying afterwards, which I thought I was going to be, but I didn't like push myself super hard because I didn't want to hurt myself from going from no activity at all to like actually running a whole mile. So I took it easy and I made it in under 15 minutes and that was my goal really. But now I'm feeling like I want a little bit of something to hold me over until we have lunch. So I'm going to have a snack in the form of a protein shake. So I'm gonna show y'all my favorite protein shake to make, the one I make every single day. So I start off with a cup of strawberries and then I put this protein powder right here. This is by Orgain, Organic Protein Powder. And I really like this one because I don't feel like I'm putting a whole bunch of foreign things in my body. And with breastfeeding and just even before I was breastfeeding, I didn't want one of those that had all kinds of chemicals and stuff in it. And I really didn't like the thought of getting my protein from milk because whey protein is milk, if you didn't know that. And this one here is protein blend of peas, brown rice and chia seeds so it's all plant-based which is awesome and if i got the non-flavored one that would be the only thing in there but i get the chocolate one because i love chocolate i need me some chocolate in my life so i put this protein powder into this canister just where i can get this on my counter and it's a little bit easier to get to than this big of thing but before i put my protein powder in there i put my yogurt because it's rich protein powder in there right on top of your strawberries it gets stuck to the sides easier and it doesn't blend up as well so i got a brand new thing of yogurt this is just walmart brand the light vanilla non-fat yogurt and this has 80 calories for a, a three-fourths of a cup so I'm gonna put that in there first and actually measure your stuff as you're putting it in because you would be surprised if you're just dumping how much you're actually putting in your food and you can go way over on what kind of calories that you're supposed to have in a day just by eyeballing it. So actually measure your stuff where you can get a good determination of what you're actually eating. Then I put in some almond milk. This is unsweetened almond milk 
This is organic. You don't have to get the organic if you don't want to. This is just the one that Costco sells. And I put in a whole cup of this, so four of these little cups, and I knew I was gonna run out. So that's why I grabbed a backup. So I buy this stuff by the case at Costco, and I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it's not that much. And I can go through a case of almond milk, which is, I think, six of these cartons in a week. So after my almond milk, I start adding in my powder stuff. So I add in two scoops of this protein powder, and I don't top it off, I leave some room, because if anything, I want to be overestimating my calories, not underestimating. And if you fill this cup up all the way and if it's heaping, then you're gonna be going over the suggested amount. You could weigh it out. I'm not doing that every morning. That's just too much. And then I do a scoop of PB Fit, which I've measured out several times into this little thing to make sure. Oop, making a mess. But this PB Fit right here, if you love peanut butter, is a great way to have peanut butter taste without all of those calories from the oil that's in peanut butter. So I do a scoop of that, and that comes out to a serving of the PB Fit. And then I put in my secret ingredient, which is turmeric. Turmeric helps you like increase your body temperature. And the hotter your body is running, the more calories you're burning. And you can't taste this when this is in your food, especially in a smoothie. So I put, I don't know how much, it's probably a little over a fourth of a, tea, a tablespoon in there. And then I pack the rest of the container. Whoa. <laughs> I pack the rest of the container with salad greens. Now this is just a salad mix. You can do straight spinach if you want, but I like um, this for like my regular salad, so I'm not gonna buy just spinach also by itself. So I just put this in my smoothies where I can get some extra greens as well. And I pack that in as tight as I can with greens where I can get a whole bunch. Let me put our top on and blend it up and I will show you what it looks like when it's all blended together. And I have a Nutribullet. It works really well for making all kinds of stuff, but especially smoothies. It makes them super creamy and there's no chunks or anything in it. It will take down nuts, all kinds of stuff. So if you don't have a Nutribullet or something like it, get you one and it will step your smoothie game up. If you don't think you like smoothies, it's probably because you don't have a good enough blender to make it all smooth and frothy and delicious. So I'm gonna blend this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So there's my smoothie and this tastes like strawberry chocolate peanut butter milkshake to me. Like it's so good. You can't taste the turmeric. You can't taste the greens in there because of the vanilla yogurt and the chocolate protein powder. If you put good stuff like that in there, you can mask all the other stuff. And strawberries are one of my favorite fruits. So it definitely makes it taste really good. So for this whole shake, it is 350 calories. And I'm using my Fitness Pal. If you've never used my Fitness Pal app, it is a great way to take, keep track of all of your calories that you're eating for the day. You can set your macros, how much weight you wanna lose, or if you were wanting to gain, and it'll tell you how many calories you are supposed to have in that day or their estimate of it. And it's just a good way to keep yourself accountable for what you're actually putting in your body. It is a completely free app, so if you don't have this, you should get it or something like it. And I forgot to mention before, I drink my water out of this humongous cup. This is my second one and it's down to about right here. I drink at least three of these in a day to keep my water intake up. The more water you drink, the more you're not gonna feel hungry because you're filling yourself up with water. I drink an entire one of these before I even have my first bite of food in the morning. So being hydrated curves your appetite and also it flushes all of those toxins out of your body. So make sure you're getting your water and you're hydrating. But I'm going to drink this and the rest of this and then fill this up and then we will see each other for lunch. Several hours later, I have been super productive today. I cleaned all three of my fish tanks and I washed my dog while I was still in my workout clothes. And then I took a shower and then it started raining and it got chilly. So now I am all bundled up and I'm going to 
go outside and make this chicken. I wouldn't bring y'all out there and show y'all like cooking and all the sizzling wonderfulness, but like I said, it's raining outside, so I'm not taking my camera out there. But I'm gonna show y'all this beautiful chicken. These were humongous chicken breasts, and I just kinda like butterflied them open where I would have more surface area and they would cook a little bit faster and more evenly. And I put this right here on them. It is delicious. It is Kinder's Butter Steakhouse Rub. So freaking good. You can put this on anything. Your veggies, all your meats, so good. Get you some. After all this is cooked up, I'm gonna show y'all what we are going to make for dinner. This is gonna be way more chicken than I actually need for dinner, but I like making extra because then I don't have to cook for lunch and stuff. I can just put my chicken in little containers and then I have that to put on top of salads or put in things like I'm gonna do today, anything like that, and it just makes it a lot easier if it's already made and in my refrigerator. And it makes me more prone to eat healthy things other than just whatever's laying around. So here's my chicken fresh off the grill and I'm just going to cut some of this up so it is ready for when I'm ready to dump it into my dish. And if you can't tell from what I have right here laid out, we are making cauliflower fried rice. And I know what you're thinking, cauliflower is not rice. And yes, you were right. But you know what? This is pretty dang good for it being cauliflower. Don't knock it till you try it. And if you don't want to substitute out the cauliflower, then just do regular old fried rice and it's not that bad for you. Just having it with cauliflower, I'm able to have a ton of it, and it gets in another vegetable and kinda hides it, and you don't even know that you are eating a vegetable. So I'm going to get this pan going about medium high heat on my stove, that's about a four. And I'm going to add in some olive oil, and I'm using my huge wok because I'm making a big portion of this for me and my husband, and we're gonna half it. So if you don't have a big wok like this, just use a regular pan. You don't need this setup. But I'm just using it because I have it and I never get to use it. So I had a little bit of peppers left over from our omelet this morning and I diced up some carrots, some baby carrots, really small. And then I have some onion in there too. And if these vegetables were frozen, you could dump them in after your rice. But since they are fresh, I'm going to dump them in first where they can get a little bit soft before I put in my cauliflower. Now I'm just going to let these soften up just for a minute or two before I add in my cauliflower rice. And I am not putting peas in my uh, fried rice. Me and my husband, we both, me and my husband's, how many husbands do I got? Just the one, can't handle any more than that. But uh, we don't like peas. So we don't put the peas in there because why put something in our food that we don't like when we are making it ourselves at home? But we do like the carrots and we do like onions and I figured it wouldn't hurt to throw these bell peppers in there. So we'll see how that tastes. That's the only thing in here that is not like a normal thing to do for fried rice. But I think it's gonna be really good anyway. So now I'm going to dump in two cups of the cauliflower rice. I am doing two servings for each of us because it is only 20 calories per serving. So I'm gonna give us two servings because yeah, we are hungry. We haven't ate uh, all day. Usually we have like a small lunch and today we did not. So I figured I would make us a big dinner, but that is still healthy. So this is the cauliflower rice that I got. This is a big bag. This will last us quite a few meals. And it wasn't that expensive from Walmart. So now I'm just going to toss that for a couple minutes as well. Let me get my little salt and pepper guy. So I don't want to add in a ton of salt, just a little because we're going to be adding in soy sauce and that's really salty. And then I'm going to add in just a little bit of red pepper flake. So now that this is fried up a little bit, I'm going to make me a little spot in the middle and we're going to add in two eggs because what is fried rice without delicious eggs in it? And then we're going to scramble those and then mix it all in and then add our chicken. I'm gonna add in eight ounces of chicken, so that comes out to four ounces each for me and my husband. 
So my baby's losing it over there, so I gotta hurry up and make this. So sorry about the crying. I'm gonna do in two tablespoons of soy sauce. And then half a tablespoon of sesame oil. All right, I had to go get her because she was tired of being in her swing. She woke up and is hungry, so I need to feed her before I feed myself. But here is dinner. This is the delicious cauliflower fried rice for only 322 calories. Oh, can you believe that? Oh, with the chicken. The chicken. Did I put the chicken in? I did put the chicken in, and it's still only 322 calories. Look at that. Like, will it focus on that? Look. Yeah, such a good healthy dinner. And like, I got a full bowl. I could eat my husband's too and still have calories left over. So right now I still have 773 calories that I need to eat today. So I am definitely having a snack later on tonight. I should have ate some lunch, but we got busy and it just didn't happen. So don't cut your calories down so much that you are being unhealthy. I mean, but if you're not hungry, like I didn't find myself like ravenous, then you don't have to eat. But make sure that you're still drinking your water. This is my third one and it's all up to the top so I need to finish this. By the end of tonight, I'll probably finish it with dinner. But yeah, we are going to enjoy this and I'll bring y'all back for probably a snack later on. So first, before I show you what I'm going to have for my last snack of the night, I miscalculated dinner. I did not put in my egg. So it was actually 394 calories, which is still fantastic for that amount of food. That was a big bowl, very filling. Like I'm not even hungry right now. I just want something sweet before I go to bed. And I have the calories for it, so I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna show y'all what I ate for today. This will focus in. So you see that breakfast, I was at 555 for my calories. This is everything that I put in for my breakfast. And then that smoothie was 350. That really good nutritious smoothie. And then for dinner, 394. And then I'm going to have, for my snack, I'm gonna have one of the small oatmeal cream pies. Focus, focus. So there is my oatmeal cream pie, which is 160 calories. And you can see at the top that my calories are set to 2,000. And I ate 1,459. And I had, I did not count my run this morning or my jog. So zero exercise and I still have remaining 541 calories. So since I am breastfeeding, I don't like to have more of a deficit than 500 calories. So I could eat like one more thing that's like 50 calories, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna end it on an oatmeal cream pie just cause I really want to. And I heat it up in the microwave for like seven seconds to make it all warm and gooey and delicious and more satisfying. Like my mouth is watering just anticipating eating this. But that's gonna be the last thing that I ate today. I did get through three big things of water today. So that was 32 ounces three times. So that was 96 ounces of water, which is awesome. That is enough, I think. If I had one more of those, it would be a full gallon. I don't think you have to get like an entire gallon of water a day, but I think that like anything around 80 ounces is pretty good. So I went a little bit over that, which is awesome, and I'll probably drink some more while I am getting up in the middle of the night feeding my baby because breastfeeding makes you thirsty AF. So I'm gonna get in my water. Either way, a little bit extra. But I hope that y'all enjoyed seeing this, what I eat in a day to start losing weight while maintaining breast supply milk. And my supply has like evened out because my baby is almost two months old now and I'm not like overly pumping or anything, but my supply has not dropped. I'm still making plenty to feed her. My milk is rich and full, so 
I think it's good and healthy for her. She's gaining lots of weight and I'm losing weight slowly, which is a maintainable way to do it. So if anything, I showed you a good way to have fried rice without having the rice calories. Cauliflower rice is like a fourth of the calories. So definitely try out that recipe and see if you like it. See if you can make that small little change to get some calories down. And if you don't wanna count calories, just put some more vegetables and some more water into your diet and you're gonna eat less anyways. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this, what I eat in a day, and I will see y'all on another one really soon, guys. And hopefully we'll be making some progress. Bye. Mm. Oh my God some good stuff right there.